Hello, I am going to be showing you all the truth about the enthusiastic angel. He has done horrible actions that need to be called out. I will be talking about all of the actions in this video. To start off with, recently he made a video getting himself involved in a situation I was in which I do not feel like discussing in this video, but he clearly has no knowledge about it and was acting like he has a say in it. He also had the nerve to say I haven't moved on from the stuff I did in 2023, which is completely untrue. I will provide the link to his video out of me in this video's description if you want to check it out by the way. In this video, he also contradicts himself, trying to convince people not to get involved in drama even though he's literally involving himself in drama by making this very video. Kinda hypocritical, am I right? Now let's move on to the more serious things. Back in April 14th of 2021, the enthusiastic angel said in my DMs that he planned to make a video of an infamous user known as John, who used to be called John's Cartoon Plaza, making out with a fictional character known as Belle Pearly, and then make it so John and Belle Pearly both get assaulted. I didn't pay attention to these messages because the enthusiastic angel would always DM me stuff that I didn't really care about. Had I paid attention to these messages specifically, I would have tried stopping him. The fact he even thought about making this video is already bad on its own. Keep in mind, the enthusiastic angel was 19 at the time, John was 13, and Belle Pearly was 14 or 15. Unfortunately, the enthusiastic angel ended up making this video a thing and uploaded it to YouTube. He endangered a child, John, and the creator of the Belle Pearly character, who was a user known as Dark RMG Entertainmix, who was a child at the time, and that is just messed up. The fact he was planning to have John and Belle Pearly get assaulted in the video and also possibly included a scene in the video of that happening is also messed up. In my Discord DMs, the enthusiastic angel talked about underage characters aged 16 and 17 in his channel having sex off screen. At the time he sent this message, he was 22 years old. Even though he didn't make it, he still mentioned it happened. He literally said child sex happened in his channel. To make matters worse, he also talked about this in front of Dark RMG Entertainment when he was a minor at the time at age 17. At the time I am uploading this video, the enthusiastic angel has videos on his channel containing sex not age restricted, meaning anybody under 18 could see these videos. While the sex was censored, it doesn't change the fact there was sex depicted in the first place. The Enthusiastic Angel also rated the videos TV-16, and keep in mind, this means the Enthusiastic Angel was okay with 16 and 17 year olds seeing sexual content. Which doesn't mean he is sexually attracted to them, but I think this makes him a creep, because he is allowing this to happen. It's also bad on his part for not age restricting the videos in general. Now, I advise you all not to try looking for these videos for your safeties. I don't want anybody being exposed to NSFW content. The Enthusiastic Angel made a community post after I called him out, which I will also link in the description, barely taking any accountability for what he said by simply saying he maybe didn't mean to mention it. The Enthusiastic Angel can say all he wants, but the damage has been done. He also proceeds to say adults dating minors with a 3 year age gap is not pedophilia, which is just completely false. The ages he mentioned all have completely different maturity levels, and therefore, if people the ages he mentioned date, it would be immoral and anything immoral is pedophilia. He goes on to say adults can date 16 and 17 year olds and it wouldn't be pedophilia which is just a disgusting thing to say and it is pedophilia. He also downplayed 21 year olds and above dating 16 and 17 year olds as just pretty awkward when it's literally pedophilia. Then he goes on to say many users are also talking about minors aged 16 and 17 engaging in sex, which is making me question the people who mentioned this too. What the enthusiastic angel did in this community post was enable pedophilia and pedophiles. In my Discord DMs and the DMs of a few others known as Timinations900, The Black Rapper Dude, and Lofty the Rapper Offline Guy 2000, the Enthusiastic Angel asked us our thoughts on oral sex. 
I get that me and the other three victims I mentioned are adults, but asking people what their thoughts on oral sex are is just creepy to be doing. When he asked me this question, I felt weirded out. I'm not sure if the other three victims were, but I wouldn't be surprised. In his video starting stuff with me, he linked the Encyclopedia Dramatica Wikipedia page out of me, and keep in mind, this page is made by a pro shipper named Shadow Champions, and if you don't know what a pro shipper is, it is somebody who ships fictional minors with fictional adults, makes incest ships, and basically any other immoral ships in general. Champions is 16 years old at the time of this video, and is guilty of making Lalakon and Shadokan, and shipping children characters with adult characters. And while Lalakon, Shadokan, and children being shipped with adults is wrong regardless, Champions is also a pedophile for making this material, because he is 16, and 16 is the minimum age to be a pedophile, and because he makes the material out of children characters regardless of their ages. Meaning, he also makes the material out of children characters at least three years younger than him. If somebody is at least 16 and sexually attracted to a minor at least three years younger than them, they are a pedophile. Champions is also an incestophile because he is okay with incest shippings and makes them, and he supports non-con, which is basically rape, and he makes non-con. And both of those things are disgusting. Anyways, regarding the page, it defends seven pedophiles, labeling them as victims of me. The pedophiles in question, and in order, are Rainboy107, Tuxtoons2k2, aka Mr. Tuxedo Ted, Michael Boyer the Smith Borderline Enterprises, Shadow Champions, John's Cartoon Plaza, Indigo Riley392, and Animator Extraordinaire Transforming Worlds, who is referred to as Sword Vinny 2 k 5 in this page. This is one of his previous usernames. The page also contains outdated information and blatant misinformation about me. Keep in mind that the enthusiastic angel advertised this page to his entire fanbase, which probably manipulated a good portion of it, and he is also indirectly giving support to pedophiles in the process. On Discord, I, along with many others, thought a user known as Rising, who used to go by Savine, was feeling suicidal until it turned out Rising was faking having suicidal thoughts. Anyways, the thing is, when I brought this case up to the enthusiastic Angel, he assumed Rising was being serious, and then asked me for Rising's age, which was 15 at the time. After I told him Rising's age, he said he didn't want to help her, all because she wasn't 16 yet, which really proves a lot about his character. This proves that the enthusiastic angel doesn't want to help people under 16, feeling suicidal, all because of the fact they are under 16. Why he is like this, I do not know, but I think it's horrible. In conclusion, the enthusiastic angel is a creep, makes bad decisions, and is a horrible person overall that needs to be held accountable for his actions. Thank you for watching this video. You have reached the end.